quick little banner lord tips video today what's up guys haven't done one of these in a while you know throwback so we're going to do a tips video on modding in banner lord how to get mods how to download them how to get them working and how to troubleshoot any problems you're having everyone is happy in the unmodded banner lord bubble because the game's great right but once you start modding you open up the game to a whole new world quality of life changes overhauls cosmetics and new systems can all come from mods. So today I'm gonna to cover those two things, how to mod Mountain Blade Bannerlord, it is super easy once I show you how to do it, and how to check for problems, how to solve the problems yourself, how to find reasons why they might not work and get them working. Uh, if you get to the end of this video and it helps you out or you learn something new about this awesome game, then consider dropping a like on the video or subscribe to the channel for more bannery buttery goodness. So first, how to get mods for Bannerlord. First thing I want you to do is take a little stroll over to Google, and type in Banner Lord Mods, or you can just uh, click the link down below if you trust me and you're not scared of getting rickrolled. Uh, so yeah, the first thing that's going to come up is Nexus Mods. Go there. You're going to have to make an account here or log in if you've already got one. With that out of the way, have a look through the many mods here. As you scroll through, think of all the different playthroughs you're going to make and then remember that you don't have time and you're probably never going to play them, but download them anyway because yeah, we're going to do it one day, right? And then filter the, uh, filter the list by trending, most popular, most downloaded, rating, that kind of thing. Or if there's one you've seen on a video or heard about or one you specifically want, just search for it manually. Once you find the one you want, the first thing you want to do is go to the, uh, go to the description and go to the recommender, uh, the requirements, and it's going to tell you what the, what the mod needs because maybe that mod is reliant upon a bigger mod. So there could be a big overhaul mod that turns the whole game into like Game of Thrones. And then, for example, there could be a smaller mod that adds uh, big dragons. So make sure your mod isn't part of the bigger mod. Make sure there's no requirements for it. Or if there is, get those first. If not, go to the files. You can use the mod manager if you want to. I personally don't. I don't see the point of it. I don't use it. Uh, so I just download everything manually. Click slow download. It's not slow. It is free. And now save it somewhere. If you've got a shit memory or you're lazy like me, just save it in your Bannerlord mods folder so it's there when you want to extract it. Uh, you want to go into the drive you've saved, uh, your the drive you save your Steam games on, assuming you're playing it on Steam or wherever you've saved it down, Steam apps, common, Bannerlord. And then in the Bannerlord file, you want to save it in modules. So not uh, there might be something called like modding resources or modding something. It's modules you're looking for. Save the file there. Now go in that folder once you've downloaded the file. It will normally download in a zip file. So unzip it either with WinRAR, 7-zip or whatever you want to use and extract it into this folder. If you've downloaded it somewhere else, extract that into this folder. Um, and then once you've, once you've extracted all the files, delete your zip or you know do what you want with it. I delete it. And that's it. You've got the mod in the right place. So now go to launch, launch the game. Uh, single player, click mods and make sure your mod is ticked. Now two things are going to happen. The game is going to load like normal and your mod will be working or you will get an error. And yeah, now we're going to talk about troubleshooting. If it works and you know, that's all you want, there you go, you know, I have to download mods now. I've only wasted three minutes of your time. So drop a like on the video and have a good day. Bye. And uh, if it doesn't work or you want to troubleshoot, let's go through that now because there's a lot of ways the mods can go wrong and it's not always so clear how to fix it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to list all the normal problems or all the things to watch out for and how to fix them. And hopefully we'll get it working. I'll also get the one I've just shown on screen working too. So let's go through it. So the, the big one I always, I always struggled with when, when I first started modding is the game crashing right as you load into the game, bang, the game goes down. I've just shown it. That's a big one. So there's a, there's a big tip here. Unlock DLL files. So what you want to do is you want to go into your downloaded mod. You know, we know where they are now and, and drill into them. You should get into like the bin and then keep going and you'll get right down and drill all the way down until you find the DLL files. So there'll be like the mod bin, win64 shipping client or whatever, whatever they're called. Sometimes they're a bit different. And then there'll be DLL files. You want to right click these, go to properties and click unblock. If there's multiple DLL files, you need to go into each one and unblock them. That's the big one. Next one, if your game isn't loading, it could be a compatibility issue. So when you go to download the files, there could be multiple files, um, like a, a at the time of recording this, like 1.5.8, 1.5.9, or whatever the files are called, I can't remember. Um, so make sure you've got the one for your version. When you open the game, it will tell you what your version is. 
if you're using Steam, you should have the most up-to-date version anyway. At the time recording this, it's 1.5.9. Um, but, you know, wherever you're watching it, just make sure you're using the most up-to-date version. Some mods will only, re will only be working on certain versions of the game. So if your mod is two years old and it's not been updated, it will only work on the two-year-old version. So you can either re-roll back your game to an earlier state or just not get the mod, really. If you're using a shitload of mods, you've got two issues that could happen. One is load order. Load order is super important. Um, when you go into the mod screen, you can kind of order which mods load in which order. So if you're using like one mod that requires another mod, that the one that is the base must be above the one that requires the other one. So the parent is above the sibling kind of thing. That's how it should work. Um, and then there's also certain mods that must be above other mods. So I don't know. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but let's say you had some big menu or system change that would be above, say, an armor skin. Um, but th that's not always the case, and that's super simplified. It doesn't really help. Make sure your mods are in the correct order. There is a uh, there is a mod out there actually called, I think it's called Harmony or Mod Launcher. I'll link those down below. Uh, there's a few things you can use that will help structure your mods in the right order and try and avoid any compatibility issues. Another thing to do check is in the description, it will tell you if it's not compatible with certain mods. So if you're trying to do some big change to the game and pair that with another big change to the game and they change the same system, maybe there's a clash there and you just can't have both those mods working at the same time. If you tried all of this and it's still not working, then do go and get the Nexus mod manager. You know, you said you can download manually or with the mod manager, get that. And it does offer a little bit of the same kind of system of structuring your mods, trying to avoid compatibility issues, things like that. Uh, but other than that, that, that is every, they're the, they're the main issues you're going to come up against other than mod specific issues where you have to go into the mod, go onto like the, the you know, the forumy part of the mod or look, really read through the mod description to see specific things. Cause you might have a mod that says, oh, you need to go in and change this to get this to work. Some mods are super, have super specific requirements that you have to do, but generally this should cover most problems, you know, I post a video and then I get comments saying I've got this problem and normally I just throw out the same three things and someone tries all those and they work. So hopefully this is enough to get your mods working. If you have any, you know, specific issues, do drop them in the comments because you probably come on this video because your mods aren't working. So yeah, drop them in the comments. Let me know what your issues you're having. I'll see if I can help. We downloaded the, uh, the, the RTS camera. So you can see here, we changed the DLL files. We changed a few other things and the mod is working. Absolutely fine, no problems. You can now play Bannerlord as a uh, total war game. So yeah, very cool. If this has helped, drop a like. If you like Bannerlord and you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more. Other than that guys, thanks so much. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.